Hey guys, what's up? This is the last of Doug's channel with your boy Milk Doug. Got some Tekken 7 videos for you here. I'm having a match with this Bob. It's a quick little match. There's no point showing the whole thing because I only got this little segment anyway. You can see I'm trying to fight this brawler Bob and I'm playing as Eliza. She's from Tekken Revolution. You guys probably know she's a bit like Akuma in terms of playstyle uh, with some projectiles. But she's got um, a bar you can recharge by sleeping and doing a couple of grabs. You can recharge mid bout, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you have to use bars to do severe, serious damage. If you don't have any bars, you'd be doing less damage than your normal type of characters. But with, she's got some really cool moves, allows for great mix ups. There's a long combo I just did there. You can rewind and watch that again if you want. But it's done. There you go, that's my custom character Eliza, white hair, black and white clothes, quite bland, but uh, try to make it iconic as possible with that sword, I'll use it now and then. Let's get to the next match. So here we go, um, fortunately these people don't go for another match, well they do, it's just it's hard to find another match, uh, I've got another match coming up here I think, yes. But I have this kind of action on my screen. Connection lost. Anyway, look, I'll do some combos here. Trying to get into Elisa. Uh, these are some earlier footages. I'm a bit more better now doing the combos. But some of the combos is jump in. Like in Street Fighter, we jump in and attack. And then you do like this knee attack. And they can go into a sure you can. Yeah, Dragon Punch. DP as people used to. People still call it DP, don't they? Alright, I'm going to forward this up for you a little bit. Oh, I remember this match. This guy, I think he's got uh, 18 wins in a row. And he's come across me. Yes, this is it. I'm going to try and stop this person. Just like I stopped this other person, Brian, a while back. Here we go. This is with Elisa this time. 18 wins, Heihachi Mishima. Yeah, he's started to play as Heihachi and hasn't lost one round yet. So here we go. Do my combos and do my moves. I'm trying to keep my distance a little bit. Um, when I was playing, I was obviously not, not. I didn't realise it's 18 wins in a row and he hadn't lost. I just thought you had loads of wins. But I think some time through the match I realised and then I start to, to panic a little bit in some of my moves. I think it's around now. I'm like, yes, but 18 wins, wait a minute, he's only got 18 wins. And he's got 18 wins, that means I realised it's 18 wins in a row, he hasn't lost. So I'm, I'm going to start doing a few more mix-ups and just trying to finish the match as soon as possible as well. But this person moves around so much. So, here we go couple of lows stay on the ground I can do that quick attack a lot of people should learn this if you're playing as Elisa is do a few of her combos do a diving kick and then grab because they're trying to grab they're trying to block so you can go for a grab I think there was a little bit of lag there again there look I didn't really need to do it that much I could have carried on doing a few more mix-ups but I went for the grab anyway it's two rounds in now the guy's angry so he's gonna really play now he's gonna go for all his little tricks maybe some 10 hits maybe some hashi hashi where it is with a turn around low punch look at that unblockable there got that in there he's thinking this is not good it's like a wall I can't get through this oh I think this is yeah three rounds in a row <laughs> I didn't give him the chance to disconnect or rage quit, but I, I I think he's normal. Okay, so we go right into the next match. I didn't get the first part of the footage because because I played Last of Us as well, and I changed my sh video recording settings to smaller clips for Last of Us, and then I forget to extend it for Tekken. This here actually is a brawler. The other one was, I think, a brawler as well, but the the rate of wins wasn't the same as I recall. But it was, seems to be a harder match because, well, yeah, it's got a round on me. I do lose a few matches, obviously, guys. And anything I lose, I don't bother really uploading. But I, I'm going to start uploading more because 
some stuff is I just want to get some quality stuff up first. So anybody who's watching my channel uh, wants to play as Elisa, wants to play as Karen, playing as Gigas, um, you know, other types of characters, they can check out my channel. I'm trying to, I'm trying to attack, counter them as they come close. So I just do blind moves. It's called blind firing. I call it blind firing. Look at this skill set. He's go. He goes for quite a few lows, which is it's good. It's, it, to do it really quick is good because it cuts you off guard, catches you off guard. Look at this. Uh, he gets to punish on me there. You know, everybody knows that real serious double punch punish from Hiachi. They forget to block the last attack. Second one. Run out of bars now. Going in there, and that's it. Grab. You can do always go in there. They have to block the first one. They can just surprise him with the grab. That guy was done. I think he goes for another matchup as well. I'm recording my audio over my videos that I've saved already, so yeah. I'm gonna put, speed this up for you guys again. Looks like you see out of his 10 matches only had two wins. Damn it. He ain't that hard. It's okay. It's okay as I go up the ranks. Um, the, the fights get more interesting, don't they? But they get damn hard too, and it gets annoying a little bit because some people do a do trick tactic play to win, where they just do the dirtiest tricks in the book, the disgusting and dirty tricks in the book to win. Stuff that will put you into into form of rage quitting. Nah, I don't do rage quits, man. I can't be bothered to start the PlayStation doing rage quits. Yeah, he's waiting on the floor. I'll take it to myself. Yeah, I'll wait for him. I'll give him respect. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> but that's a trick. It's a trick it is, guys. Look at that. Full combo from it. Obviously, uh, I didn't capitalize on it properly because I was new to Elisa at the time. And I just, during a full-on live match, this is, I started as a brawler because all your characters, they all level up to brawler, don't they? After you, your first guy gets to brawler or something like that. So all the rest of your rosters... They all level up automatically. There we go. I mean, if you see the combos that Elisa does, they're not as they're not as damaging as like right now. Look at that, all that damage. You require bars. It always requires those bars to do the serious combos. But it's very hard to pull off. Look, when I'm doing that knee, I'm supposed to do another DP Dragon Punch. I can't do it, and I don't know if I failed this year. I failed it. Oof, lucky there. I was only able to get lucky there. I would have deserved to have died there, no biggie. If you guys need to know some safe moves, down seriously down in one is really really good. You can do so many mix ups and if you go for a grab like that it does recover health. It recovers health. Stopped him and then for a grab. This is just to reduce the health. And then he rage quitted on me. I lost my chance of a promotion and he stopped himself from getting demotion, which is great for him, but unlucky for all of us, isn't it? Rage quitters. Thanks for watching my channel again, guys. Please hit that like button, it really helps. Uh, everybody says that, I don't know how it helps, but it helps a lot. And press that subscribe if you're new. Thanks.